Godzilla fans, Gage here for another Godzilla Press episode. So today, I am here to bring you guys a top 10 video. Today we are going to be doing my top 10 favorite Predator figures. Gage, but you haven't posted a video in like a month. Gonna tell us why? So, I know I haven't posted in a month and I'm very sorry about that. Um, people that rely on me to post videos to show them my top 10 favorite figures or reviews or what's coming up. Um, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I've been extremely busy. If you guys didn't know, I started high school this year and it's been very busy. Um, and I've also been helping some of my friends start YouTube channels, so definitely go check them out. I'll put their link in the description down below or just go to the channel and then you can see them in the channels I recommend. So let's start the video. And you guys will see what my top 10 favorite Predator figures are. At number 10 is the NECA Lost Predator. So, um, if you guys did not know, this is my first NECA Predator figure. Um, and he's at number 10 because he's got really bad loose joints. His spine kind of falls back. His legs aren't too tight. Um, I'm actually really shocked he's staying in the position he is as he's spinning around. But um, yeah, he doesn't really stand up and his joints again are very loose. His uh, cannon, his uh, plasma cannon or whatever it's called, it got broken so I had to glue it on. But the detail, the color, and the armor all looks amazing. Uh, it looks like a predator, which is awesome. That's what we want. We want it to look like predators, not like other things. But the sword and the sword looks awesome. Um, the helmet looks awesome. The dreadlocks look awesome. And yeah, but he isn't enough to make it to num to uh, higher up on the list. So number ten, the NECA Lost Predator. At number 9 is the SH Monsterts Predator Wolf. Now, this is where the my opinion's gonna come in. You guys are probably like, what? This figure's awesome! He's got great articulation, great detail, and those accessories are mm, amazing. Well, that's kind of my problem with this figure. He's got too many accessories. Uh, t you can't use them all. It's really hard to. He's got a crap ton of hands, which is nice, you guys might like that, but I usually put them in one position then never use the other accessories. Um, he falls a lot, and back onto the accessories, the accessories also fall a lot. And I know he's not a NECA figure, but he's not really in scale, so when he's next to my NECA Predators, he he's really small. You kind of have to get the SH Monster Arts Alien, but Again, there's like three aliens and two predators counting this guy. And he's surrounded by the NECAs, which are eight inches. So, I don't know. Um, it's my my opinion, and number nine has to be the SH Monster Arts Predator Wolf. At number eight is the NECA Viper Predator. Ugh. I do love the removable mask and the detail, the paint, uh, but that's really all about it. Uh, I don't like the short dreadlocks. It doesn't look like a predator, really. The The back looks like it's sunburnt because all the whole back is just painted red. And the double blades just break really easily. Now, all predator bl all their blades do break. But for whatever reason, as soon as I pulled him out of the box, the one on his left arm just snapped. And he falls down a lot. But, again, I do love the removal mask, and it has the detail on the inside. And, I don't know, it's just not a very good figure. So at number 8, the NECA Viper Predator. At number seven is the NECA Dark Horse Predator. Um, 
So this figure is beautiful. It's nicely detailed. It's got the awesome accessory with the staff and the skeletons. Um, but the paint. Um, I have no problem with the comic look, but the back. Yeah, it's completely red. I don't like that just because it kind of loses its feeling. I know you're not going to be looking at the back of the figure, but all the like the whole back is nothing but red which looks pretty bad but again the front still looks amazing at number seven is the NECA Dark Horse Predator at number six is the NECA Wasp Predator awesome paint job great detail all over awesome piece just it it looks awesome it does have a uh, shoulder cannon but I don't have it right now it's in my box of accessories but the only thing that isn't awesome about this figure is I wish he had like a sword or a, uh, a shuriken I do like the shoulder cannons but there's just so many of them so it doesn't help like the figures get any better but again the shoulder cannons are amazing piece to put on the predators because that's kinda the predators known signature but yeah it would be awesome to have another accessory to come with it so at number six the NECA wasp predator at number five is the NECA Celtic predator what an awesome figure his detail, the necklace, the armors, the shoes that you can't see but they're there is all awesome. The articulation, amazing. The extras are, you get the sword. You get the really, really long uh, claws, whatever they're called. You get the paint job is awesome. Kind of looks like the wasp predator, but that's what they look like in Aliens vs. Predators. He's got his awesome long dreads, which looks amazing on a Predator figure. And the dude looks like a samurai. He legit looks like a samurai Predator, which I do want that figure, but I think he's really expensive. But yes, it is an amazing piece. I definitely recommend it. At number five, the NECA Celtic Predator. At number four is the NECA Chopper. Again, awesome accessories, awesome detail, awesome articulation. He's got his long dreads again. He's got the awesome looking armor. And he's got a cool looking helmet. But what makes this figure pop? Well, his super long wrist blades. And this dude does deserve the name Chopper because those things look awesome. And because it looks like kind of like a one of a kind. He's again he's got the sword uh on his right leg uh in the pouch and he's got the wrist bomb which most NECA figures actually don't have that actually move and articulate. So that is very awesome. So at number four, the NECA chopper. At number three is the crack tusk predator. Yes. So this figure again, awesome detail, awesome paint job, awesome articulation, his accessories, he's got a staff but he doesn't really need accessories because he's a unique predator because of his cool looking wrist blade that looks sick and he's got a cool uh, shoulder cannon that is pretty unique and his mask just is awesome it looks really cool and it's very detailed which is again very nice for us predator collectors people yeah but anyway so yes a uh, very unique predator figure but that's what makes him awesome so at number three the NECA Cractus Predator at number two is the NECA Bad Blood Predator this figure looks awesome from the top of his head to the bottom of his feet. 
filled with nothing but detail. The articulation is great, and the accessories are also very cool. You get two skulls, a weird predator hairpiece, and you also get a machete with and the two heads that you can hang on the back of like a hook thing. Um, but back on to the figure itself, the, all the skulls and spines and bones on him just give him that feature that he is out for blood. This figure is nothing but detail and amazing. So at number two is the NECA Bad Blood Predator. And at number one is the NECA Hive Wars Predator. What an awesome Predator figure. NECA, great job. The background on um, the back of the box that you get, it's awesome. How he uses parts from his broken ship to make his armor and his claws and his staff. And the blue on the Predator looks awesome. And the wrist blades and staff, also awesome. And the helmet, just... This figure is just a well-made figure and a beautiful figure. So, yeah. At number one is the NECA Hive Wars Hope Predator. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. And again, be sure to check out all the channels down in the link below. I definitely recommend them. Sorry again, I haven't made a video in a while. All these figures are very amazing. Um, I love them all. Again, just like all the top 10 or top videos I do, there's just some I like a little bit more than the others, or there's just some that I really just don't like. So, yeah. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, punch that like button down below and subscribe. And remember, anyone can be a Godzilla collector, but there is only one Godzilla Pursuit. See ya.